7, 1965, a group of us attempted to march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, to dramatize to the nation that people wanted to register to vote. One young African-American man had been shot and killed a few days earlier in an adjoining county uh, called Perry County. This is in the Black Belt of Alabama, the home county of Mrs. Martin Luther King, Jr., the home county of Mrs. Rath Abernathy, the home county of Mrs. Andrew Young. And because of what happened to him, we made a decision to march. In Selma, Alabama, in 1965, only 2.1 percent of blacks of voting age were registered to vote. The only place you could attempt to register was to go down to the courthouse. You had to pass a so-called literacy test. And they were told people over and over again that they didn't or couldn't pass the literacy test. On one occasion, a man was asked to count the number of bubbles in a bar of soap. On another occasion, a man was asked to count the number of jelly beans in a jar. There were African-American lawyers, doctors, teachers, housewives, college professors flunking the so-called literacy test. And we had to change that. So we sought to march, and we got to the top of the bridge. We saw a sea of blue, Alabama state troopers. And we continued to walk. We came within hearing distance of the state troopers. And a man identified himself and said, I'm Major John Cloud of the Alabama state troopers. This is an unlawful march. It will not be allowed to continue. I give you three minutes to disperse and return to your church. And one of the young people walking with me, leading the march, a man by the name of Jose Williams, who was on the staff of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., said, Major, give us a moment to kneel and pray. And the Major said, Troopers, advance. And you saw these guys putting on their gas masks. They came toward us, beating us with knife sticks and bull whips, tramping us with horses. I was hit in the head by a state trooper with a knife stick. I had a concussion at the bridge. My legs went out from under me. I felt like I was going to die. I thought I saw death. All these many years later, I don't recall how I made it back across that bridge to the church. But as I got back to the church, the church is full to capacity. More than 2,000 people on the outside trying to get in to protest what had happened on the bridge. And someone asked me to say something to the audience. And I stood up and said something like, I don't understand it. How President Johnson can send troops to Vietnam, but cannot send troops to Selma, Alabama, to protect people who only desires to register to vote. The next thing I knew, I had been admitted to a local hospital in Selma.